Tonight's party line vote by Republicans to censure a colleague who led the first impeachment of the ex-president and expressed his belief that it was likely that Trump had in fact colluded with Russia is just another example of how the right wing tries to chip away at the truth until they have sculpted a lie into stone. They tried to do it the 2020 election. They've really tried to do it and had some success with COVID lockdowns. Oh, they were a failure. Oh, they were necessary. And they have tried to do it and had some success with the Mueller investigation into Russian sabotage of the 2016 election. As part of that effort, the House Judiciary Committee heard testimony from, as we mentioned, John Durham this morning, the special counsel appointed under Donald Trump to investigate the people who tried to investigate what Russia did in that election. But Congressman Ted Lieu, Democrat of California, was having none of it. Okay. Now, Mr. Term, Durham, I'd like to ask you the following simple yes or no questions. Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was convicted, correct? I'm sorry, could you just repeat yeah, that? One? Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Not Trump's in former with foreign policy powers. advisor to the campaign, George Papadopoulos, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Trump's former deputy campaign manager, Rick Gates, was convicted, correct? Not in connection with the Russian Trump's. Matter. All right. Mr. Durham, you can hold yourself out as an objective Department of Justice official or as a partisan hack. And the more that you try to spin the facts and not answer my questions, you sound like the latter. So I'm just going to ask this simply. Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Trump's longtime advisor, Roger Stone, was convicted, correct? I'm sorry, I missed the last Trump's thing Trump's longtime advisor, Roger Stone, was convicted, correct? Correct. In contrast to multiple Trump associates who were convicted, you brought two cases of jury trial based on this investigation, and you lost both. And so I don't actually know what we're doing here, because the author of the Durham report concedes that the FBI had enough information to investigate. And thank goodness the FBI did, because multiple Trump associates who committed crimes were held accountable. And the best way to summarize what happened is thank you to the brave men and women of the FBI for doing their jobs. And Congressman Liu joins me now. Um, Congressman, what, what was your understanding of the purpose of today's hearing, Mr. Durham? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chris, for your question. Let me first say, when Democrats control the House, we pass laws like the infrastructure law to help American families to grow our economy. And when Republicans control, what do we get? We get stupid stuff like this dumb hearing on the Durham report, which concluded, after wasting $6 million of taxpayers' money, that the FBI had a duty to investigate allegations of Trump Russia collusion. And thank goodness the FBI did that because multiple Trump associates were convicted and held accountable for their crimes. One of the, the themes today was frustration from Republicans, right? Yeah. The, the, the Durham's investigation, his report, and the two cases he brought, which you referenced, both of which uh, ended in acquittals, quite notably. Uh, didn't come up with more. Matt Gates tweeting Durham is part of the cover up and then uh, telling Durham to his face he was like the Washington generals. Uh, take a look at this this exchange. You didn't charge Andrew McCabe. You didn't convict the lion Democrats or the lion Russians. You didn't investigate Mifsud or the Mueller probe, even though, as we sit here today in black letter, that was your charge. Uh, have you ever heard of the Washington generals? The Washington generals, yes. Yeah, and, and they're the team that basically gets paid to show up and lose, right? <laughs> um, what do you take away from the frustration of folks like Gates and others with Durham and what Durham produced? Yeah. MAGA Republicans are trying to rewrite history, and we cannot let them. The facts are very clear. The Department of Justice, through the Mueller report, found that the Russians interfered in our elections in 2016 in a sweeping and systematic fashion. A bipartisan U.S. Senate report in 2020 concluded the Russians interfered and it was designed to benefit Donald Trump. And then Paul Manafort, Trump's campaign chairman, admitted that he gave internal Trump campaign data to the Russians. Uh, that is called Russian collusion. It was interesting to me to watch the basic facts of that be reset, because I do think it's been, even though the Durham report I don't think has been particularly effective, I do think William Barr's massaging of the report, his control of its release, was relatively effective in obscuring a bit of just the depths of what was found by the Senate Intelligence Committee, by Mueller, which is basically, I think, you know, 
not debated, right? The sweep of the Russian effort to tip the election, the obvious openness on the part of the Trump campaign, the welcoming of that help both publicly and privately really through the sun, and the actual sort of two fingers touching in the giving of that information to Konstantin Kalimnik, who is uh, assessed to be an asset of, of Russian intelligence. Do you think they've been successful in rewriting that history? I do not. Uh, we do know that the American public rose up and fired Donald Trump. And I think part of it is people were concerned about his ties to Russia and his campaign's ties to Russia. And what we see now with this indictment of Donald Trump from Department of Justice is that he also had all these classified documents. And why would he keep these top secret documents and not give them back? Uh, it's all very suspicious. Adam Schiff today was censured along party line votes. Um, what is your assessment of the full day, starting with Durham, ending in that censure vote, and why they chose to make him, I believe, the third member censured this century yeah. in, a, in a body that has seen multiple felons and currently includes right. George Santos? So again, how does this move the American family forward? How does this grow our economy? I note that the author of this censor resolution, Representative Luna, has introduced a total of six bills in her entire career. Five of them are about Adam Schiff. That's rather, <laughs> that's rather obsessive. And this strange obsession that the Republicans have with doing stupid stuff, none of this is helping grow our economy or moving the American family forward.